Hello children let's hear a story of Peppa Pig the toy cupboard Please subscribe to my channel It is Peppa and George's bedtime Goodness cries Mummy Pig Why are all these toys on your bed That's where they live giggles Peppa The toy basket is full Mummy and Daddy Pig decide that Peppa and George really need a toy cupboard. Let's buy one on the computer, says Mummy Pig. Hooray! Everyone cheers. The next day, Mr. Zebra, the postman, delivers the toy cupboard. Oh, it looks a bit flat, sighs Peppa. Don't worry, your Mummy and Daddy will build it for you. says Mr Zebra Daddy Pig empties all of the pieces onto the floor Hmm that's odd says Daddy Pig There aren't any instructions Maybe it's so easy to build it doesn't need instructions suggests Mummy Pig Crash Everyone helps Mummy Pig build the toy cupboard and very soon it is finished Well done mummy pig shouts peppa he he laughs george that's strange the toy cupboard is very small how will all our toys fit inside as peppa the cupboard is tiny because mummy pig has not used all the pieces oh dear if only we had the instructions sighs daddy pig Mr Zebra has found the instructions in his van. I'll build it for you, says Mr Zebra. Mummy Pig gives Mr Zebra a cup of tea and some biscuits. Mr Zebra has put the toy cupboard together and placed the toys inside. But there is no room for the last two. Poor Teddy and Mr Dinosaur where are they going to live cries Peppa I have an idea says Mummy Pig Teddy and Mr Dinosaur can live on your beds but that's where they were before says Peppa I know smiles Mummy Pig that is why it's such a good idea the end i hope you enjoy the story Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Hello children. Today's story is Peppa Pig Stars. Don't forget to subscribe. It is almost time for bed. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Peppa are having mugs of hot milk. Snort snort. George comes running in wearing his space suit. George, why are you in that space suit? asks Daddy. You should be in your pajamas. He he. Snort snort. George loves everything to do with space. Clunk clunk. Oh dear, George is trying to drink through his helmet. George, cries Peppa. Take your space helmet off to drink your milk. Peppa takes George's helmet off. Slurp slurp, burp. That's better. It's bedtime, little ones, calls Daddy Pig. Peppa and George are tucked up in bed. George likes to listen to his space mobile. Not space again, sighs Peppa. It's boring. Space isn't boring, Peppa. It's full of wonderful stars, smiles Daddy Pig. Snort. I can't see anything, says Peppa, looking out of the bedroom window. It's easier to see the stars outside, explains Daddy Pig. If you put your coats on we could go and see That one is the North Star 
says Daddy Pig. Peppa sings a star song. North star, North star, are you near or are you far? Can we get there in the car? The stars are too far to get to by car, but they look closer through a telescope, replies Daddy. Grandpa Pig has a telescope, says Mummy Pig. It's late, but we can drive to his house just this once. Peppa and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Mummy Pig rings the doorbell. Ding dong! What are you doing here? asks Grandpa. Could we take a look through your telescope, please? asks Mummy Pig. Very well, replies Grandpa. To the top of the house we go. Grandpa Pig's hobby is looking at the stars. Snort, here she is. Old Bess, says Grandpa Pig. Wow, gasps Peppa, seeing the telescope. Who is for the first look? asks Grandpa. Me, 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 shouts Peppa. It is the North Star, cries Peppa. We sailors use that star to find our way home, explains Grandpa Pig. Daddy used it to find his way here, Peppa adds, smiling. Now it is George's turn to look through the telescope. He can see a planet with rings. Snort, what else is in the sky? asks Peppa. George can see the planet Saturn, says Grandpa. What is Saturn like? cries Peppa. Saturn has rings made of rock and ice and it is very, very cold, says Grandpa Pig. We could build a snowman, cries Peppa. Quick, look, Peppa, gasps Grandpa. It is a shooting star. You have to make a wish. I wish that when George is old enough to have his own rocket, he will take me into space, cheers Peppa happily. Snort, snort, grunts George. Ha ha, snort. Everyone laughs. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.